we're going to deal with concatenation. Concatenation basically means we're actually combining strings or variables, stringing them along together, to adding them all together. Okay. So in here, we have put I've created a variable called name by putting the dollar symbol and then the, the name of the variable, which is name, and I put my name Ahmed Sami Hijab. Just put a semicolon at the end, and in we've created another variable called email and here I've given it my email address which is ahmasamihigab at hotmail.co.uk and I've created another one another variable called statement and this time I've put I love programming in PHP and MySQL and then I've created another variable this time I've assigned it the value 31 which is my age getting old and I've created a couple of echo lines here. The first one, I put in double quotes. My name is, which is just a, 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 a string that we've we've placed here, a bit of text, and we put the full stop, which is the symbol for concatenation, and I've put dollar name. I don't need to put quotation marks because it's a variable name, so it would it would just print the value inside name. In here, it would just print it off here. So it would say Ahmed Sami Hijab here, and I'm going to put a space in the bit after that. So it's going to say I am, and it's going to say age, years old, and then it says and my email address is. Next line, it will say my statement to the world is, and then it will print the statement here. We declared a variable called text, and inside we've assigned br which is starting a new line I'm gonna create another tag here I'm gonna put another br in there and I'm gonna put uh, bold okay so that's the, that's the ass assignment inside that variable called test I've assigned it these HTML tags br br and then b for bold and then I have ass assigned another uh, string or characters inside by putting the dot in front equals that means we're concatenating that value into there instead of writing hello in here what I've done is I've done it by assigning the value hello test the variable test and again I've concatenated the word world inside test and again I've concatenated another string this is a test inside again and then I ended up with concatenating another HTML tags VR and we're gonna close off the B as well so it closes the bold and here we're saying echo dollar text and it should print all that as one line so that's lesson three so we're gonna test it we're gonna save first and I'm gonna click on lesson three click on edit so we can see it here and that's the code that we wrote okay we are now gonna run it we're just gonna go to lesson 3 just type that like that here we go that's the result of the code as you can see it's all bold here and it's one this is the content of test the variable test that's, that's the result of it that's what's stored inside it being concatenated word by word okay and that's the statement so that's lesson three for us and now we're gonna move on to lesson four I'm gonna open lesson four inside Qt FTP click on edit lesson four is just a bit of arithmetics uh, like you know inside uh, C programming I've explained to you that if you add the operator in front followed by equals to four that means it's just as if you're writing x plus four okay it takes the value of x plus four it adds four to x and we echo the value of x next we're actually adding plus plus which is another way of saying dollar x equals to dollar x plus one but this is just shorthand here this is shorthand okay so that 
to be ignored by the interpreter here because it's within the comment so you can see I'll put a comment here okay next we're going to put the output here and as you can see I'm concatenating I'm using the full stop so I've written the value of x is and then close the quotation marks and then I've put the concatenation which is the full stop and then I put the name of the variable which is dollar $x again what I've done here is I put minus minus dollar $x which is another way of saying dollar $x equals to dollar $x minus 1 very simple isn't it and then we echo the result and this is just another way of doing exactly that so it doesn't make a difference whether you put the plus plus in the front or after the variable it does the same thing it should anyway we're gonna test it out and find out okay so that's done I'm gonna now save that and I'm gonna go to the very the actual browser I go to lesson 4 now click on that and it tells us here the value of x is 8 the value of x is 9 the value of x is 8 the value of x is 9 so it just went up and down up and down because we're actually first we added 4 so it makes it 8 and then we added 1 to it so it gives it 9 and we subtracted 1 gives it 8 and added 1 again gives 9 and so on so that's lesson 4 very short close it off file close and now lesson 5 we edit see what that one's about okay so now we're going into the if statements okay as you remember in C programming we've same syntax again the name of the variable and here we're saying well age equals 28 okay so we're assigning the value 28 to age the variable age and we're doing a test here we're saying if age is greater than 18 then echo you can join our program you are over 18 years old we do another nesting condition here we, I said if age is less than 50 then echo and you are less than 50 years old else if if that's not true if is not uh, less than 50 then it would say echo and you are over 50 years old so he's over 18 and he's over 50 years old if if what if age is is greater than 50 okay if age is not less than 50 then it else if all that fails and I've opened the brace and closed it okay else if we use the else if now and uh, here we're saying age is equal equal to 18 which means it's identical to 18 that means it, it's 18 exactly then he's not less than he's not over 50 no he's exactly 18 years old so and it will print that line off else if, it, if it's not greater than 18 it's not less than 18 it's not 18 exactly okay then he must be younger than 18 so we will say sorry you are too young for this site go away basically okay oh so that's the that script for lesson 5 we're now going to test it and see. We've already given age the value 28. Press in 5, change the 4 at the top, 5. Press enter and it says you can join our program. You are over 18 years old and you are less than 50 years old. Okay, so now we close that lesson.